This is Tristan with Victorious Games. Hello and welcome back. I just want to do a short video to share with some of the improvements that I made to the object spawner extension. Just for background, the way you use the object spawner extension is you get an object and you add this behavior called object spawner. So other than adding the behavior to the object, you do need to add an event action. The action is periodically spawn a monster. This is the object that you're spawning, and this is this object that has the spawner behavior. And you want it to run every frame so you don't include any conditions. And that's what will start spawning your monsters. And you can set some of these parameters. Spawn period is how frequently they will create new objects. You can give it spawn capacity. This is almost like ammunition. So for instance, if you wanted your level to spawn 100 objects and stop, you could use that and max objects in the scene. So let's say you wanted it to keep spawning, but not overwhelm the player. Let's say you only wanted 10 objects to be on the scene at any one time. Like this can still be at a thousand and it'll make one per second until there's 10 in the scene. And once 10 in the, is in the scene, it'll stop making them. That's something you've used your game to change the difficulty of your level. But by default, it's unlimited capacity. It'll just keep creating forever. Okay, so a new thing that I added is this checkbox. Use random positions inside the spawner. So and the, without that checked, they'll always start at the center point of your spawner. And you can have multiple spawners and they'll always start at the center. If we change this to use this new random positions inside the spawner, it's pretty obvious when it does, it's gonna pick a spot inside the object to start creating these objects. So the reason I did this is that you can do something like this and make a, a range that they can come from and it'll create an object somewhere inside that object. So it's almost like instead of a spawner point, it's a spawner area. Uh, so it kind of saves you some steps if you wanted to do something like, let's say you wanted the um, enemies to always come from the outside. You could do something like this and I'm going to put it, them inside the uh, borders of the camera, but you probably want them to spawn outside the, the camera. There we go. So this is the way you can make things spawn outside in a random fashion. And that's it. It's pretty simple. I hope you enjoyed the spawner and I hope you enjoyed this new feature. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.